Welcome back. I am Dr. Ruckus, bringing you a new deck every single day. And today we are playing Mono Red Goblin Tribal. Keeping it quick and dirty today. We've got Fireblade Charger and the Javelinier in the one drop slot. Hobgoblin Captain in the two drop slot, which is a 3 1 that can gain first strike. There aren't that as many uh, goblins as we need, so we're actually throwing in Bloodthirsty Adversary, which is a vampire, not a goblin. Two mana, 2 2, hasty threat that at five mana can get back one of your instant speed removal spells later in the game. Battlecry Goblin, uh, the best card in the deck by a large margin. It is even better as a 4 drop. Compare it's basically Goblin Trash Master, but better. Because if you drop it, if you put it down for two mana and pump put two more mana into it, it's now a 3 2, same power as Trash Master, pumps the entire squad, has haste, and then can also create an extra goblin, and then on subsequent turns you can pump it multiple times to pump the entire squad. So it's basically an uncommon that is better than Goblin Trash Master. Hobgoblin Bandit Lord, of course, 3 mana, 2, 3, that pump squad, Hulking Bugbear. So in the games you see me play today, I actually play Relic Robber instead, and I think that's a mistake. Size just matters so much against the aggro decks in this format right now, and 2-2 two, two does not cut it. And you only get the trigger when you deal combat damage, not when you attack. So it's hard to get the trigger off this card, it's too small. I think you need, rather than playing this rare, you actually want the Uncommon Hulking Bug Bugbear. That extra one power and toughness matters. And then when it's pumped by Hobgoblin get Bandit Lord or uh, your other pump effects, it then becomes a 4-4, which can spar with Righteous Valkyrie and um, Old Growth Troll, stuff like that. So I think you actually do want the extra size there. And then lastly, Goblin Trash Master on top, pump entire squad. For removal, I actually, in the video today, I play Royal Eruption, but I think you want to keep it a bit cheaper. I played Royal Eruption and four copies of Play With Fire, but I think you really want Frostbite in there. Um, it's cheap. It does three damage instead of two compared to Play With Fire, which can zap a couple more things, which is relevant. We have plenty of snow mana. So I think that's actually the split you want. Try to keep it really cheap and just get in there and get the job done. Hope you enjoy the gameplay. Let's dive right in. Okay. Only problem is we are not on the play. But we'll make it work. Bop for one here. Boom. Get him. Pony down to 19. Really want to save Battlecry Goblin's potential 4 drop. Okay. Well. Get in here first. Attempt to drop the Hob Hobgoblin Captain here. See if they have a spike field hazard ready for us. They got something. A braid. Sure. Going classic. <laughs> Just got control. If they tap out, we can get one relic robber online, which is a big deal. That's damage for the rest of the game. I suppose we can get swept up with Divine Purge, though. They probably won't let us get that off, but I think we have to try anyway. Here we go. Stick for sure. Maybe divide by zero. Syncopate. Straight up counter. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Expressive iteration. Good for them. They do take a turn off here. I think in this coming turn, probably just drop the Battle Cry Goblin plus uh, one of these Play With Fires. They don't have double white for a sweeper yet. Or red. Okay. Well, if they don't have... Let's start here. Yeah, they don't have double white. Let's just deploy it all. See if we can't pump squad next turn with Battlecry Goblin. And if they go white, Doomscar, then so be it. Not more white, no Doomscar, no Divine Purge. We'll see if they run a Red Sweeper. Like, burn down the house. Wow. Draw two cards. Well. I think we're just pumping here. Can send you here. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um 
Man, I think we just get him dead, actually. Because we have triple play with fire in hand. So we have lethal next turn. So you attack, you pump, do it with the first one because you need to get to six power to trigger, trigger pack tactics. And then once you have pack tactics triggered, you trigger the second time to pump the entire squad again. Originally, we had only been attacking with a total of four power. Well, they eye this wide board. They still haven't hit their second white. Is it Divine Purge or Doomscar? Doesn't matter. If they tap out here, they're dead. They eye the Battlecry Goblin. Yeah, it's the uh, Mythic Uncommon, as they say. Extremely powerful card for only an uncommon. Rope comes out. Little do they know we have triple play with fire waiting for them next turn. What can this guy do? That creature's base power and toughness zero two. They divide you? I guess they're hoping I tap out? But they're they're definitely dead here. Even with sciences. Interesting. Instant and sorcery spells you cast cost one less to cast. Okay. That brings it up to six. Again, we have lethal in hand just with these. Oh, one more removal spell, maybe? I don't think it matters. I think we have them here. Yeah. Okay, changes nothing. Enter combat. No stick. Play with fire number one. Now there's stick. Maybe another syncopate. Sure, burn is good if we need it. All right, you have to counter this one. <laughs> See if you got it. I don't think they have the mana to syncopate though, so they need a hard counter spell here. Syncopate three, sure, you got it. <laughs> okay, nice. Hana chill burned to the ground. All right, good enough. I know, Bloodthirsty Adversary, not a goblin, but we need more two drops. Ooh, a little Seagay action. I like it. We've got a decent curve here. Okay. Foretell something. Interesting. You're like, what? Vampires. Not just vampires. Vampires and goblins unite. Little known fact, they are best friends. A.K.A. Seek. Aka Seek. Okay. Um, not sure we get too fancy with it. Let's do this. See if they counter. Divine Purge is going to be great because it's going to sweep up this token. But we'll see if they have it. Down to 13. A lot of gas in hand. No shortage of gas. Doomscar. Sure. Javelinier, Bandit Lord, Javelinier up to a 2-2, two -two, down to 11. Do nothing. Well. Hmm. We can try the Battle Cry Goblin. That's pretty good. See if they let us get to combat. If they do, we can get a token off of it. That's not bad. They deluge right now. Okay. Sure. What does this do? Uh, that's fine. What do they want? I guess a Fading Hope would be good right now, plus another Sweeper. We're going to hit him. Oops. Uh, I guess we'll do this now to get haste. All right. Making it happen. They're dead. <laughs> Battlecry Goblin is so damn good. I always forget how good it is. Good God. <laughs> oh, it's such a good card. Okay, good enough. Let's get cracking. One to the face, down to 19. Rescue me. Rescue me. Ugh, gross. Man, is that reason to hold play with fire? I think so, actually. I do not think they will trade here. I think we actually want to hold play with fire right now. And uh, potentially kill the veteran if we need to. I guess we want to kill this guy instead, right? 
All right, let's just kill this guy now. Yep, just met one. I think that was worth doing. Life game, but at least that guy's not getting bigger every turn. Stuck on land here. Charge forward. This is going to be a tough matchup for us. They're thinking about blocking the charger. I would love it if they blocked the charger. They have so many outs of just growing anything vastly beyond what we can handle. Yeah, that's that's one of them. That's an issue. Continue to be stuck on land. If we pump squad, we still cannot get through at all. Play out another one of these guys. No attacks. That's pretty much game right there. Turn three, game over. Okay, that's not devastating by itself. Again, not devastating by itself. They are approaching 27 right now. Oh, they hold back? They're like, I have all the time in the world. Well, we somehow have to keep them off of 27. Ah, uh, man. If we attack all, does it do anything at all? I think we want to keep them off 27. Let's do it. Fuck it. They're going to block there. That's interesting. Now, take out the Battlecry goblins. Yep, Battlecries go down. They should not block the charger, I don't think. All right. Opponent has blocked successfully. They're off of 27. They only have the Valkyrie left. That kind of went better than expected. That went worse than expected. Woof. Woof daddy. Wolf Daddy Supreme. Good God. Please. Just end it all. Just end it all. <laughs> sure that's decent. Need one more land. Cleric class? Okay. Not our best friend. Bop for one here. Put it down to 19. Might need to Royal Eruption their first play here. Let's see what it is. Nothing. That is a grace for us. Okay. Get in there. Drop you. More damage. Curving out nicely thus far. Let's see what their three drop is, though. It's probably going to be a good one. Is it the Righteous Valkyrie? They think. They're not sure. Could be removal. Borrowed time. Okay. That's fine by me. Third land acquired. Just be mana efficient here. Get him for two. Could also go on Battlecry Goblin and the Javelin here. That also would have been acceptable. Hallowed Haunting deck. Okay. Well, we know what the game is. But that doesn't really change our gameplay. Here we go. <laughs> Get him. Opponent down to four. Battlecry Coblin is so good. <laughs> Almost have them. Uh, straight up with Royal Eruption here. All right. Well, uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter how we do it. Yeah, that's game. We have it every which way to sundown. Nice. Cool. Not bad at all. We'll need one more land to get going, but no problem. Try not to hold stick too long here. Valorian. Okay. Alright. What do we want? I guess we want more land right now. Not you for sure. That's not land, but we'll take it. Um, Yeah, we'll get some haste on. No guarantee we hit that third land for the bandit lord. Alright. Down to 16. Not so bad. Green white. Druid class. Alright, we have time to set up here. No next land, sadly. We should definitely hit it in the next two turns with the play with fire scribe, but would love to hit it this coming turn. That would be just wonderful. Oh my god, they are ramping like crazy. What are they ramping up to? Damn. Alright. Well, here we go. Uh, 
Well, if we get in there. Put it down to 10, effectively down to 8. We'll try to scry into that next land. Fell out our retreat. That's very slow. Land. Did it. Never didn't have it. So Relic Robber's worth 3 damage. The Bandit Lord is worth uh, 2 damage this turn, actually. Hmm. I mean, they're just going to block here. You're going to survive. You're going to die and trade no matter what. I think we'll try the Relic Robber. All right. Get him. Block goes there. Okay. Put it down to six. That was a mistake. I keep making that mistake. You only get the trigger if it deals damage, not when it attacks. So I should have played the Hobgoblin Lord. But moving forward. Cathar. Uh-oh. That's not amazing. But not the end of the world. More land. Keep the pressure on. Attacking for two here. They take it all down to five. Any removal spell gets us back to Hobgoblin. Unfortunately, it does not have haste. Okay, gain a life. Make a blocker. Not good. Storm the festival. Okay. Opponent has done it. Up to 10 life. Yeah, that's pretty much game. Interesting. Surprising they actually rallied there after a super slow start. Oh my god. You got it. Yeah, we'll just concede now. That's fine. Woof. Cool, not bad. Mono white aggro. How do we feel about that? Put down the charger that brick walls them for a turn. Put in the javelinier attack. I think we'd rather get the javelinier down. I mean, we want to be attacking though, but they are on the play. I think we want them not to attack in time to get our bandit lord down. So we'll just hang out here for a bit. We're on the draw. Just chill. I don't think we'll take this trade. Because once we get the bandit lord down, we're in a much better position. So we'll take two this turn. Tap land. That's nice to see. Alright. I still don't want to take the trade. So we'll just drop you. And we'll attack anyway. I want to get the Bandit Lord, because then the Fireblade Charger can take out two of their things at once, which is going to be a big swing for us. Boros Aggro. I think we'll still let him hit us. And they make a token here. Okay. Wow, they are really stuck on something. We can't play the Bloodthirsty Adversary. Trigger the Captain, get him with everyone. That's a decent turn for us. Or if we get the Bandit Lord down with an extra land, that's also big. They've had a very slow start, though. There's the land. All right. Adversary. Man, Adversary plus Javelin here is pretty good, too. Let's do it like that. All right. They have no good attacks now. Yeah, they can't block anything. They can chump the hob Hobgoblin Captain. That's basically their best move. Yeah, we got it all. Next turn, we'll drop the Goblin, pump the entire squad. Except for the Adversary. They're thinking hard about this. We've definitely swung the tempo a little bit. Okay. Down to 12. We are the aggressor now. See if they drop Town Razor Tyrant or something. Oh yeah, yo, what is this? Two damage to you. Exit the top card of your library. Play this card this turn. Sorcery. When you play a card exiled, transform it to a four-three. Okay, interesting. Spike field there. All right, fine. They continue to attack us. All right, getting gutsy. 
So do we even want to play the Hobgoblin Captain versus like the Relic Robber? I think we probably do. That gets in two extra damage this turn. This also does two damage. Yeah, we're going to go with this actually. See if they're going to block. Block there. Take four. Put it down to eight. Maybe we should have played the Hobgoblin there. Guaranteed extra two damage from both of these guys. Den comes in tapped. Yeah, they've had a very slow game. Continue to attack. Make a token to block with. Sure. Down to 11. Yeah, that's all. Okay. That's good, but not just yet. Drop you this time. Get in there. Double block goes there. Take four down to four. Sure. Okay. Very close to dead here. Okay, Bandit Lord goes down. Two mana available by the opponent. What else they got? Another Usher. Fine. Still have good attacks. Captain. Um. Yeah, we'll just be mana efficient. We'll play you out too. Okay. Get in there. So they block here and block the Fireblade Charger, maybe? They should not block there. They should block there. Yep. All right, opponent down to two now. Game looking over. We don't have any haste, though. If we hit land, we can go haste Goblin. Could also draw to try to hit play with fire if we need it. Yeah, that's a lot of 1-1s. One Packing on the heat. Tylar. Showdown. Uh, I don't think there's anything you can draw. Land. Land. Usher? I guess. Scoop. Yeah. Alright, weird game there. Opponent had an extremely slow hand. Not sure what was going on with their deck. Rank up. Nice. If you liked that video, click on one of these two next. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I am Dr. Ruckus, and I'll catch you next time.